very much. All right, here we go. Our next guest is a good friend of ours and the subject of a new documentary entitled Mr. Warmth, The Don Rickles Project. It can be currently seen on HBO and beginning February 19th on DVD right here. Here is Mr. Warmth himself, Don Rickles, everybody. <laughs> I can't believe it. What a build-up. <laughs> you're great, you're great. Now I'll talk to the dummy. <laughs> Don, how Don, are Don, you, Dave? I'm good. Happy New Year. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you, Dave. Happy New Year. Thank like you very much. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Like you got up on New Year's Eve and said, I wonder how Rickles is. Sure. <laughs> well, I, I'm always thinking about you a little sure bit. Sure you are. Yeah. And I'm Adolf Hitler. Now, wait a minute. Uh, now, you? Why did I say Adolf Hitler? Yeah, yeah. now, Don, I... Um, you don't have to laugh. Just look at me and you know what I mean. <laughs> I, uh, I, I heard that you... Why is he sitting here? Does he have to clean up or something? <laughs> no, he... <laughs> he wanted to be out here. Ah, you're a big because... star. You're part of me award, everything else, and he's sitting there with a little Jew. Oh, you're not going to go anyplace with me. <laughs> and by the way, I was never in one of your movies. <laughs> Now, speaking I of... I could have played, you know, the guy picking the cotton. We'd fake it. <laughs> now, listen, I, uh, speaking of not being in somebody's movie... Why are you pointing? I'm here. I see. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the district attorney. <laughs> now, there's this wonderful documentary about your life uh, on HBO. Correct. All of your friends. I'm not in it. Because you hide out. No, no, no. No, you're in the Midwest sitting there with your <laughs> child and your girl and nobody knows what the hell you're doing. That's it. I'm not. And you sit there with a, with a cowboy hat going, I'm not going to be on with that Jew. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Excellent. Anyway, I, wi I wish... What was interesting about Denzel the doctor, that was great. Yeah, that... <laughs> Big star, 20 minutes with Denzel the Doctor. Yeah, well, no, it was, it was, I found, I found it fascinating. Yeah, well, sure, that's why you got this show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I enjoyed the documentary, and it must Thank have you. been a great experience for you. It was, it was exciting. John Landis, but the director. It was a shame you weren't in it, Dave. I know, I know. And that's not right, Dave. We've no. been friends a long time. Exactly. And you're not that big that you can't be in it. I know. Well, I wanted to be, I tried to be in don't it. Don't beg now, don't beg. The guy, the guy comes into town and he says, okay, I'll be here two days. And I said, well, I'm not even in town. And he said, okay, goodbye. Yeah, well. How do you think that made me feel? I hope bad. <laughs> And Denzel, you weren't in it. I, I wanted to be. You need to holler at me, Denzel? We, we all wanted to be in it, Don. Denzel want, no, Denzel was busy doing movies. He does everything. Direct, roll him, print it. Direct, roll yeah. him, print it. Now, you've had his quite... sons play football, go 27 blue, 27 blue. <laughs> but you've had quite a film career yourself. Oh, I'm, I'm bigger than him. Yeah. You, uh, <laughs> you worked with Clark Gable. Remember Clark Gable? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. boy. Burt Lancaster? Yeah. First movie I ever did. Came on the, on, on the, in those days, it was United, and, and it was a submarine picture. They didn't go on location. I talked to him because I could go someplace with him. <laughs> fair, fair enough. <laughs> if he's sweet enough to sit here when I'm on, I got to talk to him. Oh, I man. see. All right. Because you, it's once a year, and goodbye. I know. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. This, what do this I care? man, you know, sure. one phone call, and there we are. Denzel yeah. and Don Rickles. I don't oh, see that happening. Like Frank. That's wrong. Yeah. It's Rickles and Denzel. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Because <laughs> that happened at Radio City Music Hall. I, it was Don Rickles and Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. you know, we worked together. You remember Frank Sinatra? Yes, sir. He was a great. Rest <laughs> of the song. I say a lot of funny things about him because he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> If he were alive, I wouldn't be saying no, that. I'd be sitting not. here going, walk on, walk on. Okay, now that's enough. Now, uh, so anyway. Uh... <laughs> See, when that guy sings, the kids get worse. Oh, now, now listen. Uh, well, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, oh, 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 
Clark Gable. Put yourself there. Clark Alzheimer's. Gable. Alzheimer's. Clark, no, Clark I can tell. Gable. The glasses are fogging up. I can tell that. Alzheimer's. <laughs> it's you're working with Clark Why Gable. Why do you keep doing this all the time? You, you got a little box in your hand? What the hell's there? <laughs> I think I'm working with a magic guy, for crying out loud. This is a good expression. Do that in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be right back with Don Rickland, everybody. I remember uh, a story, uh, speaking of Frank Sinatra, you're all in the, uh, the French uh, Riviera, the French, uh, what do they call it, French Riviera. Yeah, right, that's what I yeah. call it. And you're at uh, Monaco, someplace like that. Mo Monaco, that's yeah. what it was. And you're having a big dinner, you, right. Frank, uh, Frank's buddy, Jilly, yeah. a lot of folks. Well, what really happened is uh, Frank Sinatra, God was, just a, was a great man to me. He was a great, great booster of mine. And I traveled with him to Europe. We, we wound up in, as you said, the Riviera uh, on one of the trips, my wife and his wife and so forth. And he'd send all the wives, well, he said, the wives, go to bed. You've got to go to bed. Mm -hmm. And you've got to sit with him and drink the vodka, you know, which I didn't mind. But on the, the third barrel, <laughs> <laughs> I used to sit there and think I was on the Titanic. <laughs> I like my vodka, but it's not dripping down the pants. Yeah. You know? <laughs> not good. So anyway, we're, we're sitting there in, 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 in this bar, and it's about 5, 6 in the morning. Mm. Frank's going, to the king, to anybody, you know, boom, you know, <laughs> boom. The summer wind, boom. And there's a little, there's a little black gentleman, you know, a little black gentleman, he's playing the piano. You know, going, Mr. Sinatra, can I go home? Can I go home? You know? <laughs> the bartender's going, Mr. Rigger, you talk to him, let me, let me go home, you know. Mm. I do accents in case, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're sitting there, David, and we're having a drink. And Jilly and I, rest of so we're sitting, and lightning comes. And it's a big bay window by the bar. Mm. Ba ba boom. Ba ba boom. And Frank Stringer, he said, I want you and Julie to go out and tell them goddamn photographers to stop taking my picture. <laughs> <laughs> and Julie went out, Julie and I went out in tuxedos like morons in the rain. <laughs> Thank God the storm stopped. We came back and said, it's, it's over, Frank. It stopped. It stopped. He <laughs> said, good. Because otherwise, we'd be walking around in a wheelchair. Uh -huh. you know? uh, but he was great. He did a lot of crazy things. Now, am I right? Uh, his, his wife and your wife have the same, same name? Frank's wife and your wife? What, are you a detective? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a detective. That's, that's right. I mean, you come up with these remarks. They have the same name, don't they? <laughs> This is a one-hour show, and this the dumbbell comes up, but they got the first thing in. Let's go back to Dr. Denzel. <laughs> this occurred to me that what I... What a night this yeah. has been. <laughs> Finding out who, who we know and what, what our names That's are. That's right, sure. <laughs> now, uh, uh, we, uh, 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 uh... Denzel was... There's medication for that day. <laughs> it, it, uh, Man makes forty billion dollars a year, and he sits there with two major people going. Eh, uh, uh. Uh, Denzel was ta talking about his. Uh, did a movie about a guy who was an uh, organized uh, criminal. Yes, I'm sure. The gags is yeah. magnificent. Yeah. Now, did did you uh, w a long time ago in Las Vegas? <laughs> They're all dead. Stop being nervous. They're dead. <laughs> okay. Did you, did you have any uh, relationships or acquaintances? Yes, yeah. yes, I did. Experiences? I worked, uh, I headlined the Copacabana many, many years ago, mm. and everybody came in and sat ringside and went, at what time does he go on? <laughs> <laughs> and they all had the little sling guns. They're going, oh, the kids, the kid better. <laughs> they had your problem. <laughs> <laughs> the kid better be funny. Uh, anyway, yeah. so there was, there was one guy, I won't mention his name. It was important. Very well-known gangster. And my mother, pretty, uh, God bless you, she, if she was alive, she would have been great with your mom, because my mother was, my mother was sort of a Jew pattern. And, uh, <laughs> you know, my mother was the type of person, good evening, how are you? And I go, gee, Ma, take it easy. Stop being <laughs> self-conscious. What's the matter with you? How are you? How are you? Always, oh, yeah, like she had a megaphone. Yeah. So now, she was very strong, very educated. And we were sitting at the bar, and a note comes over and says, so-and-so wants to see you. So my manager at the time, Joe Scandori, he was my, uh, Elliot Weissman's my manager now. I, I, I throw it in so he don't have a nervous breakdown in Florida. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he always talked like this. He talked like this. Yeah. I want to put a feather on the can and make him a bird for crying out loud. 